Hello, this is Akshay with another video here and in today's video we are going to take on a numerical problem based on electrical energy consumed by a given electric appliance. So the let us go through the given statement here. An electric refrigerator rated 400 watt operates 8 hours per day. That's the time given here. What is the cost? We need to find out the cost here. What is the need? what is the cost of energy to operate it for 30 days at rupee 3 per kilowatt hours so very simple it is uh, uh, you, you you are going to use the three steps in order to just find the required solution of this very numerical problem remember in the very first step what we are going to do we are going to find out that how much electrical energy being consumed by the refrigerator in one day Okay, in the second step, we will find out that how much electrical energy being consumed by the refrigerator in 30 days or for 30 days, for 30 days. So that is the second step. Once we know the, the amount of electrical energy consumed by the refrigerator for 30 days, we are in a position to find out the required cost here. Because you know that is yes, the commercial unit of electrical energy is kilowatt hours. And that's what it is being mentioned. The cost of one kilowatt hour is rupee 30. So we need to find out that how much kilowatt hours of energy being consumed by the refrigerator when it is used for 30 days in such a way that per day it is put to work for merely eight hours. So per day, that's the process eight hours working is it has to go through and it keeps doing that for 30 days in a row so you need to find out the total cost we uh, required to just the uh, cost, total cost uh, just uh, being incurred during this very process there so let us just go through this very numerical problem so three steps i have told you in the very first step we will find out the electrical energy consumed by the refrigerator in one day or for one day thereafter in the second step we will find out the electrical energy consumption for 30 days Okay, and in the final step, we will write that uh, since the cost of one kilowatt hours electrical energy consumption is rupee three, then how much kilowatt hours the refrigerator has consumed for 30 days? The though for those kilowatt hours, total kilowatt hours of electrical energy consumption, we are going to multiply it by rupee three and we will get the required answer there. So let us go through here. What is given that is power. Here it is power of electric refrigerator that is P and it is 400 baht. Thereafter it is time and it is time and uh, it is T and it is 8 hours per day. 8 hours per day. Yes and in fact it is 8 hours and per day you can put it in brackets there. Yes, 8 R and as it is mentioned, just we are going to write it per day, 8 hours. Okay, what is the cost of energy to operate it for 30 days? That's the question. Cost to operate it for 30 days. That's why I have mentioned that is you need to find out the required number of kilowatt hours because for one kilowatt hours the cost is this one and this is what we are going to find out for 30 days how much kilowatt hours of electrical energy being consumed by the refrigerator so that's what the you can say the job is so in the very first step we are going to find out the electrical energy consumed for one day but yes this is to operate and this is the cost given here the rate at which the consumption at which you will have to foot the bill there so cost is what is the cost rupee 3 per kilowatt hours or it can be written as cost of 1 kilowatt hours of electrical energy is rupee 3 here it is so let us start further to solve it in the very first step i have told you we will have to find out the electrical energy consumed in one day that's what the first point we are going to do here so here it is you know electrical energy consumption that is e is always equal to p multiplied by t and its commercial unit is kilowatt hours it means 
kilobaht is the unit for power and the r is the unit for time so in order to just take on any kind of a numerical problem firstly write what is being contained in that way numerical problem secondly you will have to go through the units whether the units are absolutely spot on or not but here we need a site a kind of a you can say the fine tuning as far as the units are concerned since the unit of power is in baht here but since we are in a, in search of electrical energy consumption so electrical energy consumption always come in kilowatt hours that means the power should be in kilowatt so we are going to transform baht into kilowatt and in order to do that we are going to divide it by 1000 and it turns out to be kilowatt and how much it is or p is equal to 0.4 kilowatt that's the power time is there p into t will give you electric energy consumed so here we are going to find out that is electrical energy consumed by the refrigerator in one day and let it be even and it is the product of power multiplied by time or even is equal to what's the power 0.4 kilowatt multiplied by time yes it is per day 8 hours so multiplied by 8 hours and therefore even is equal to 3.2 kilowatt hours so that's the electrical energy consumed by the refrigerator for one day. That's the one day consumption. We need to find out it for 30 days. So here, here we are gonna find out. Therefore, electrical energy consumed by refrigerator. Electrical energy consumed by refrigerator for 30 days and let it be E2 and it is equal to how much electrical energy consumed in one day it is 3.2 kilowatt hours and for 30 days obviously it's gonna be more and how much more it's gonna be it's multiplied by 30 even multiplied by 31 even multiply by 30 sorry even multiplied by 30 or e2 is equal to even is 3.2 kilowatt hours multiplied by 30 and how much it's gonna be therefore e2 that is the electrical energy consumed by the refrigerator for 30 days and it is equal to 96 kilowatt hours so you got it here that is, this is the total amount of electrical energy consumption for 30 days. Now we are in a position to find out the cost. Since the cost of 1 kilowatt hours electrical energy consumed is equal to rupee 3 and for 96, obviously it's going to be more. So it's going to be multiplied by 96 and that's going to be the final step here. So therefore, therefore, cost of 1 kilowatt hours electrical energy consumed and how much is given cost for one kilowatt hours there you are it is here it is mentioned here yes cost of one kilowatt hours electrical energy consumption is rupee three here it is rupee three and how much you are going to find out it's for 96 kilowatt hours because 96 kilowatt hours in fact the total electrical energy consumption for 30 days so therefore cost of 96 here it is since and here it is therefore therefore cost of 96 kilowatt hours electrical energy consumed yes for one kilowatt hours it's rupee three and for 96 kilowatt hours it's gonna be more multiplied by 96 then rupee three multiplied by 96 therefore 
required cost then it is required cost and it is so rupee 288 that's the required cost and remember this cost is coming for 30 days so that's how three step oriented numerical problem it is so that's the base to crack such kind of numerical problems that's it here